Oh shit! Oh. Hi, my name's Frederick Perry. We're at the DIY X Street Jam. I'm in the Blue Tomato Sauna and we're gonna ask some nice questions to some stupid people. <laughs> what happened last night? A lot of karaoke was going down. It was pretty impressive actually. I saw some non-impressive karaoke also. Uh, there was definitely a good mix, I believe. <laughs> yeah, it was a good mix. I won the competition last night, that's what happened. A lot of ass shaking. We sang a couple songs, had the karaoke last night. And then uh, I was looking for monster dollars. And then I had a hole in my pants. I don't know what happened after that. Um, a lot of... Dancing. Uh, I was in the karaoke bar and trying to steal the mic constantly because I wanted to sing and I was like hyped on singing. But then I saw some Instagram clips of myself and just felt yeah, regrets, you know, like classic. <laughs> uh, I had a great time. What, what happened for you? <laughs> <laughs> I like the look. It's great. I, what happened for me was watching you in, ooh, watching you in the fireball costume. Thank you. Yeah. That was fun. That's it was not nice a thank you. It's a That's nice just costume. Information. Fuck. Anika played on the decks and uh, people <laughs> were raging. That's a good sign. People were raging. Um, and I got very, very drunk. Very, very drunk. <laughs> Loosest moment of the street jam so far? Um, I would say nose clip on the ring of fire from. What's his name? Toto? Uh, when Ethan uh, lit up his cigarette with a flamethrower, that was my favorite. Uh, Toto's logo is taking it down. Going, uh, he was blacked out already, trying to bore slide through the ring of fire. And uh, nose diving, uh, it was just amazing. And then he had the fire, fuck, what is it called? Like the flamethrower in the landing. It was just, it was so much good stuff happening. And he burnt Mojo's balls as well. It was just like, what? It, what was going on? And he was wearing a rope, naked, like, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was, I've never been this impressed, actually. Yeah, it's when I uh, had to do a beer chug last night with the guys. We put a straw in a large beer and we have to chug it, like, down the beer. That was the loosest moment I remember right now. Yeah, it was uh, fucking nice. Bolo hanging, hanging upside down on... I think that's like my personal... On it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sketchy. Toro Cel Locos, or whatever his name is, going through the ring of fire. When homie caught his toes and flipped through it, that was sick. He's okay. Yeah. He's, he, physically, he's, he's fine. Mm. Uh, my personal loosest moment was when you spider man the, the side of the landing and did not fall down the hole. Yeah, that was, I guess I found out that happens if your board's shredded from being here for two weeks. And then it literally stuck off the lip, and I was like, here we are. Creeper to, to rav roll to make, dude. I wrote out of that shit, I swear. Ah, all right, all right. <laughs> Just Dusty Hendrickson overall, I would say. Yeah. Loose. Yeah. Incredibly loose. But still managed to like <laughs> ride so good. So yeah, very impressed how loose, but that's Dusty, you know? Yeah. I mean, I saw someone shoot a fucking torch of fire literally directly at somebody in a robe. At my homie Mojo, and apparently his pubes got burnt, so that was pretty insane. That was pretty insane. Ah, Toros Logos, that was too easy. Toros Logos, that was the loosest. Nose, nose slide to nose catch to face dive into the stairs, and then giving him the flamethrower. Like, the whole combination of all that was fucking stupid. That was stupid. I was scared for everybody's lives than when he had the flamethrower. I instantly regretted it, but it was fucking but amazing. Not really. It was amazing. <laughs> What's the last trick you did where you were like, damn, I'm good? <laughs> right before I got broke off, before Innsbruck, nose press back three, first try. Back nose press back three, I was like, damn, I'm good. And then I tried to hippie hop the tube, got broke off. Yeah. I wrote down yesterday like one of those pillars and went into the football field. And uh, there I really felt like I was a football player and really famous and good. So, yeah. That, I guess that. Might have been the 50-50 I did yesterday. I felt disgusting yesterday, and I lined up towards the logos. He exploded on a bore sled, 
and I did a 50-50 upper. I managed to do that Sick. first try. Wow, that's that's and great. That's pretty much the only thing I did actually. You know. yeah, but I was it was, it was. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, I think that was when I was filming uh, with Gun Show at the spot when I took like a straight out five 50-50, like pressure five 50-50 and took a one out. I was like phenomenal. Like when I locked the trick, I was like, how is you did a trick and you were like, how can you do this? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I thought at the moment. When I finished the trick, I was like, how is this possible? <laughs> I did a back lip and I was like, yep. <laughs> I fucking love this shit. <laughs> back flip. That's my last trick. That's my best trick, dude. It is the best trick though, so it's all good. Did you see that? Did you see it? I did not see it. I frontboarded at a DFDFD. When? Like last week. When can we see it? Uh, when we drop the movie next year. It's called the movie. Uh, the Switchback Tail 270 today, but then I ended up riding into the railing after the rail and kind of hurt my knee and uh, still painful, but uh, yeah, that was the last moment, yes. Wow, today, you're a good snowboarder today. I mean, yeah, as soon as you land a trick that you've been battling, you feel like that, yeah. I would say, yeah. I don't know, I've never really said that to myself. I'm like, damn, that felt good, you know. I was pretty stoked when I went cab two and then switch over the, the death gap, because I almost died on that earlier. That was crazy. Yeah, I guess. It was also, a there's a lot of other moments where you should feel that, yo, you were a good snowboarder. Thank That's you. fine. You can think that. Today, when I was uh, when I joined Team Early Off, there was a big uh, movement <laughs> happening today <laughs> called Team Early Off. I witnessed it. Yeah, you witnessed it, obviously. Um, I did a 50-50 and didn't make it to the first kink, so I'm very hyped about that one. I was like, yeah, I still got this. Would you bring a date to Street Jam? No. I don't think that's a good go I don't think that's a good idea. Probably not. No, 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 no. Not a chance. Nope. I would not, because then it would not allow me to have more dates. No, it's, it's, no. I have a girlfriend. That's the reason why. <laughs> I love you. Oh, you forgot about that one. I love you. No. Uh, not the best idea, but I probably would, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you would, because you're a fucking savage. A date. Like, just a girl for the weekend. Date? Potential spouse? Probably not. <laughs> no, not the street gem. No, that's an absolute no-go. Because you, that girl is probably not going to like you after that. Because street gem is fucked up. It's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> What would you not want to happen in a sauna? Basically what happened to me, food poisoning. Food poisoning on this trip in a sauna is when it kicked in. Not good. Puke. Yeah. Not in the sauna, but I immediately run out and puke. Chill, five minute sauna, straight to the bathroom, puke. Five minute sauna, puke, five minute sauna. <laughs> exactly. Oh, that's a tough one. Get a boner. Been there. No, that's not happened. Everything is pretty good in the sauna, so... <laughs> Puking, because that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Anything but chilling. I think my, my, my puffy jacket. I didn't want that to happen in the sauna. You don't want your puffy jacket to happen in the sauna. Excuse my French. <laughs> yeah. Anyone take their boots off? Wait, they have the boots on? Yeah. Right. And then they take them off in the sauna. So That'd be fried. Somebody is grabbing my balls and pulling it as hard as he can. <laughs> Fuck, I dude, I don't, I'm not down with like the dicks out for Harambe shit. Yeah. I mean, okay. I mean, if it's out, it's out, but it's like you don't need to go full eagle spread, like mm. lay it in my face. <laughs> I don't know. I would like to have a gangbang in the sauna. That would be nice. Yeah, That's always you, a dream. What do you not want? Like a hot dog eating contest would be weird. I wouldn't want that. That's the no go to me. Is that is that a right answer? Is that correct? That's pertains to you. There's no right or wrong, Ethan. <laughs> it's a sauna quiz. That's the first <laughs> thing that came to my mind. I don't know. Okay. Favorite snowboard movie? December. Good question. Good, good, good question. Uh, <laughs> good answer. <laughs> Bench press? <laughs> resistance. Uh, resistance. My first one and yeah, first one and best one. My also. My first one also. Yes. See, yeah. that's what we grew up on. Yeah. RV juice. Landline. A beacon. You, do you have to say that or no? Oh uh, yeah, because if I don't say that, Lou is waiting for me and might stab me in the heart when I yeah. come back. Good sport. 
just because I it influenced me, follow me around, Mac Dog movie, whatever. <laughs> I like that. Classic. Irrathala, shout out. Horgasm, a love really? story is one of them. I wow. Think. Yeah, it's it's a good ass one. Um, ass to mouth by Barf Bags. OG movie, fucking legendary. That's the first thing that came to my mind as well. Is Rippy Flip the laser flip of snowboarding? Yes, I think so. I love that comparison, and I think yes. I mean, what else? Yeah, front, it's front side, flip, yeah, heel, off the heels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's off the heels. Yeah, yeah. exactly. No. Uh, the Rippy Flip is steezy, man. Yeah, I, I love, I like it, I like it. But is it the laser flip? Uh, it's I call it like I used to call it the kebab roll after uh, Land Jurgensen. I thought he created it, like yeah. at least the open one. Yeah, so, kebab rulla. Yeah, kebab rulla. I thought that was sick. No, I don't think so. Not a chance. Damn, that's a sick question. Yes. Uh, probably not, because I heard the, the Ripley flip. You're kind of you can get stuck into it. I feel like a laser flip is kind of a hard trick. No, laser flip isn't isn't it hard. I don't know how to do it, so okay. I mean that doesn't say anything because I suck. But whatever. Yeah. No. What is? Anything my grab does rolling. Uh no. It is uh, from triple. I would say laser flip of snow Marine. Oh no, it's not. Three flip feels more like a front triple. But yeah, I like front triple. <laughs> it's good to hear from a guy that knows both of those. <laughs> yes, absolutely. A thousand percent. Back seven tray flip. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Aki's done a laser flip on a snowboard, so that's a laser flip to me. Laser flip is a laser flip. Wow. Shut it down. Right there. There you go. Yeah, shut it down. What are your street jam essentials? iPhone, um, roll up kit, and street jam hoodie. Alongeros. Torres de Locos. Drinking. Full scent. The Twix. Maybe three Twixes. Mm -hmm. I've been eating so many Twixes. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe a shovel. Shovel would help. Yeah. yeah. A Raptor jersey and a sixpence hat, but uh, of, like they're stuck in my uh, they're stuck in my luggage at the airport right now. So yeah. I didn't really come with much other than the lighter. Maybe a water bottle, but I still haven't. Ha taking one sip, the classic <laughs> move. End up drinking beer anyway. Fuck. <laughs> you need beers. You need some source of nicotine, because it's long days out here, and some annoying little fuckers. That's for sure out here as well. <laughs> so you, to to make it as smooth as possible, you need to be chill as possible. You know, have your have your shit dialed. Um, beer, cigarettes. Um, if you smoke weed, weed, good to have. Um. The ganja. Ganja is good. Maybe a snowboard. Yeah. Maybe. But not. you don't need it. You don't <laughs> need it. You can still win without a snowboard. <laughs> With the other essentials, you can still win. <laughs> Where will the Ring of Fire be next year? Oh, no one knows. I hope to see a grind on the actual ring, rainbow style. I'd like that. Or uh, smaller. Smaller ring. Jump. At my home place, obviously, because I owned it last night. Where's your home place? Iceland. Dude, probably on like some 50 foot like street gap or something, right? Something sick and you gotta like air out to it. And it's just like hanging by like wires or something. Oh, what? That'd be insane. Or a wall ride, it's like in the wall. You like have to ride through the wall, through the hole in the wall. I hope not. Better be somewhere fucking sick as shit. Hopefully Innsbruck, I thought that was pretty got them amazing event and this one was also good uh, <laughs> <laughs> maybe on the start of a jump or something so you can do like I don't know maybe I don't know maybe a trick <laughs> after a ring of fire <laughs> not just try to make it through yeah, yeah that would yeah. be nice I think the ring of fire should be like out the window of a castle or something or in a castle I can't give that one to you yet uh, no, I can't say that yet. We have to announce it properly, but it's not going to be a ring of fire. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be a little bit more than that. It's going to be a little bit more than a ring of fire. It's going to be a couple rings and more than that. A little bit, a little bit of length as well. Some length. You don't need that, it. That, it's that, overrated. That, we don't that, need the length. Maybe girth. Yeah. We don't need the girth either. <laughs>
that's all we have from the street jam. <laughs> <laughs> the sauna hole from the blue tomato shop. <laughs> Presented by Method Mag. Those guys are great. Oh shit, we're going. We're going. We're going. Uh oh, fuck. Yeah, right, see you guys later. Later, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh.